the biometric registration is seen as a way forward for Lee District in terms of addressing some of its aged old problems, such as unemployment, law and order, elections, and the large influx of people coming into the city. The registration process will include the collection of personal information, such as the fingerprints and facial photos. The head of Skyco Limited, Joe Killer, says a public awareness will be conducted in various wards in the Lay District on the rollout of the program to dispel rumors of the 666 or the mark of the beast. To effectively uh, disseminate your government service delivery, you know, one has to know the number of people living in his outline or community or what. And then they can size him how much money I'm like give him. When he can develop them like give him. How much the man by benefit them, so not by delivering him service. But many people are refusing to give in their particulars voluntarily during the registration process. All our people out there, uh, you got uh, plan the man marry all the stuff one time, pretty stuff. And so uh, you may look on two plus side, one plan was and this land modern technology long way was then making more easy long government and we can bring you service. In 2012, the national government also proposed a similar program for the entire country. The biometric registration will be rolled out by the Chinese tech giant Huawei Technology with the aim of improving national elections. But there are public concerns on potential security risks and the inability of Papua New Guineans to use these services. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lei.